So today we are going to talk about the saturation dome and in three dimensional it is something like this. We are really interested in this region only because ice is not used as a fuel in any machinery. We only plot liquid liquid vapor and vapor region in 2D. Now in this dome, if any point is in this line then water is in liquid phase. If any point is in this part then water is in vapor phase or becomes steam. In between these two curves, here both liquid and steam are present simultaneously. So here the liquid is called saturated liquid, the liquid vapor mixture is called wet region and this represents saturated steam. And if a point A is outside this dome, then steam at this state is called superheated steam. So there are four regions, saturated liquid, saturated steam, wet region and superheated region. Saturated liquid means that there is 100% liquid and 0% steam at that particular point. Saturated steam means there is 100% steam and 0% liquid at that point. Now suppose you have given a cycle like this, therefore in this cycle we can say that point 1 is saturated liquid state, point 3 is superheated steam and point 4 is in wet region. If you see your steam table, there are 5 different tables, 2 for saturated region and 3 for superheated region. You can find the properties of point 1 from table 1 and 2 and for point 3 you can use superheated table. And remember that there is no table for wet region. So to get the values of wet region, we use formulas which I will discuss in next videos. Going back to the steam table, table 1 and 2 is for saturated region which contains temperature table and pressure table. And superheated table has 3 tables of a specific volume, a specific enthalpy and a specific entropy. If you open the first table, which is temperature table you see these values. Now suppose you have given the temperature as 85 degrees Celsius and you have to find the enthalpy of saturated steam then you will see the value of Hg. If you have to find the value of a specific entropy you will see the value of Sg in front of 85 degrees Celsius. The liquid state values are represented by Hf, Vf and Sf and the vapor state values are represented by Hg, Vg and Sg. The difference between the values of saturated steam and saturated vapor is denoted by HFG, VFG and SFG. So HFG is equal to HG minus HF. Similarly, SFG is equal to SG minus SF and VFG is equal to VG minus VF. Let's take a question. Suppose you have this curve and pressure here is 20 bar and you have to find the enthalpy at point 1. We know point 1 is saturated liquid and pressure is given. So H1 is nothing but equals to HF at 20 bar. For point 3, temperature is given at 80 degrees. We know that point 3 is saturated steam and H3 must be equal to Hg at 80 degrees Celsius. I asked the question in last video where pressure is given correct that is 40 bar. How can you tell whether the steam is saturated or superheated? Go to your table 2 that is pressure table for saturated steam. Find 40 bar pressure in it and check the value of temperature written in front of it. If it is 300 degrees as given in question, the steam is saturated. If it is not 300 degrees Celsius, the steam is either wet or superheated. Comment your answer whether the steam is saturated or superheated. Share this video with your friends and subscribe my channel. Thanks.